On this video, I'm gonna give you the three reasons why you should never buy solar leads. Coming up. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in once again to another solar video on the channel. Right, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do by clicking the button down below and make sure you turn your bell notifications on for every time we upload a new video. Right, we're gonna be doing a lot of, uh, gonna be doing a lot of interviews from now on. I'm gonna try to get some power players in the solar industry um, so you can watch and learn from them. But what I wanna do in this video is I'm gonna give you the three main reasons why you should never even think about buying solar leads, right? That are already, you know, that are already shared, right? I'm talking about buying solar leads from a third party lead vendor, right? Like Angie's List, Home Advisor, right? Clean Energy Experts. If you're, if you're in solar, if you've been in solar for a little bit, you probably know who I'm talking about, right? And if you've bought shared leads in the past, and they haven't worked out for you, which is the majority of people that are, that are buying leads from uh, sites like that, right? You know exactly what I'm referring to as well. And on that note, look, if you're new in solar, and even if you're a little bit experienced, you know, I think you would massively benefit from the Solar Sales Black Book. You can find it. It's the first link in the description box below. And on that note, if you're thinking about growing the solar business, in 2021, go ahead and schedule a call down below. I'm gonna go through the ins and outs, either gonna be me or somebody else on my team. And we'll lay out the exact strategy that we're gonna do for you and how exactly we're gonna be making sure that you have leads to call on a day-to-day -day basis. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So this topic of buying solar leads online is very popular within the industry because Everyone who hasn't experienced it and hasn't really had experience, you know, um, online leads and buying leads online is rather curious and wants to know the truth, all right? So I'm gonna lay out the three reasons why I think you shouldn't buy shared leads. Now, a big disclaimer, if you're already buying leads and you're watching this video right now, you're pretty successful at it, by all means, this is what I always say, do not listen to me, right? Disregard what I'm just gonna about, what I'm about to say and get on with your life, all right? <laughs> so, all right, so I'm gonna give you my three reasons for it. The first reason is, is competition. If you're already buying leads, like I said, from sites like Clean Energy Experts and Home Advisor, right? You're, you're automatically entering a competition and somewhat of a race to the bottom on price, right? And the reason why is because there's a lot of people that, are, that are, they'll be purchasing that same lead, right, from the lead vendor. And it, they could be, you know, four, five, seven, eight, ten people, ten companies that are buying that same lead. And I'm telling you, you're almost sure to win the race to the bottom on price because people are always willing to lowball everyone just to push a few extra panels. Now, I don't believe that's the right way to do business, but there's a lot of people that do that. Not to mention the people that are gonna come in, gonna scam people, right? Tell them something that isn't true and you know try to sell them an undersized system that is not gonna offset the customer's electricity bills at 100%, right? So they're automatically, you're, you're automatically entering a race you, you almost cannot win, unless you're a giant company, right? That can allow, that, that can basically do this and massively undercut everyone, right? Which I, again, I don't believe that's the right way to do business, but you know, that's on you. If you're that kind of company, then by all means, you can buy shared leads and they're probably gonna work for you, okay? They're not all bad, right? The reason why these companies exist because somebody, somebody out there benefits from them, right? The experience that I've had and the experience my clients have had is that when they come to me, they say, man, that's the worst experience that I've ever had, okay? I'm competing with a lot of people. They're like sharks, you know? As soon as a lead comes in, you know, a minute in and I'm, I'm talking to the person and to the lead and they're telling me they've already spoken to someone else. They've been given a quote, right? So the competition is fierce and you should know that if you're, you know, if you're entering that game. So competition. Number two is 
these people are gonna be prize shoppers, all right? They're already entering a quote online and they know that they're gonna be contacted by multiple companies and will be given a, you know, different quotes. These people are the closest ones that, that to do it yourself type people, <laughs> okay? So they don't care about anything else for the most part. You know, they care about getting it done very, very cheaply and inexpensively without caring about, hey, what's that company gonna do on my roof? Uh, you know, are they gonna do a clean job, right? Uh, can I trust them with the warranty and everything else? They don't think about, most people think about just go cheap, 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 all right? So again, price shoppers is a huge one because you're gonna be doing, you're gonna be talking to people that are, they're gonna ultimately speak to, you know, multiple companies in your area, right? I hate price shoppers and I think you do too and that's number two. Number three is expensive. What do I mean by that? Well, these leads are coming at around, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks and beyond when the lead is shared means you still have to compete with somebody to get that, uh, that, that individual's business you know, but they come in at a pretty expensive car. Like, I'll give an example. At our agency, we generate leads for anywhere between five to about 15 to 20 dollars a pop, right? 15 to 20 dollars a lead, right? And that's an exclusive lead that I can assure you nobody else is talking to, right? If you want to know how to generate solely, if you want to make sure that you and your team have leads to call every single day, once again, I urge you to schedule a call down below. Do not wait around. Okay, it's not gonna be a sales call, and I promise I'll actually deliver a lot of value and I'll tell you what to expect. I'm the type of guy to, I'm a straight shooter, man. I don't care about if I, if I lose a client, as long as I tell them the truth, they know what to expect. My goal when I'm on a call with a customer is to make sure that they understand 100% what they're getting into and nothing less, right? So let's get on with it. So why expensive? Again, you're paying a lot more than you should be paying realistically for, for a lead that is gonna be, that you're gonna have to enter a race to the bottom on price and these people are still gonna be price shopping, right? Which means if you're not the cheapest guy in the block, you're most likely gonna lose that race, right? So again, not all companies are bad, right? Uh, you know, you can benefit from them only if you're a giant company or you can allow yourself, or you can allow yourself to sell or you have a very, very low red line, okay, for example. And again, that's still not the way that I, I would prefer you as a client to do business, but hey, that's on you, your call. Right, so again, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a short one, and um, I hope you got some value from it. Again, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. If a conversation comes up in the community, man, just bring my name up. I would appreciate that. Right, just get the word out, and uh, so we can grow this channel. Anyway, stay well. Let's close some more KWs, and I'll see you again on the next video.